if Spags and if Karlofkis and their plan for the defensive line works out, <clears throat> all of a sudden that also increases the level of difficulty for the quarterback. It, you know, that's and so that transitions us into the Karloftis thing. Aaron, one of the things that Gooch and I were talking about, and it's something that Avery brought up in the RGR Discord, is that it sounds like the plan is for Karloftis to be on the edge for for early downs, for rundowns, and then to slip inside uh, next to Jones on pass rushing downs, which kind of goes in with something oh, that, uh, that that Ryan Tracy said was that when he looked at Karloftis, he saw more of a five tech. And so, you know, in my mind, if this is the path they take, and we don't know because, you know, let's face it, we have no idea what the hell Spag sees when he watches film and what he what he's thinking when he puts together a game plan. Uh, but and personnel. But if they this to me, if this is the way they go, it leaves open the possibility that we can re-sign Ingram, play him a linebacker on early downs with with Gay and, and Bolton. And then when Karloftis moves inside for, for pass rushing downs, we can move Ingram to the edge for pass rushing because we're not going to have three linebackers on the field anyway during you know our 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 pass defense we're just not you know we might have we might have one and a linebacker safety hybrid or we might even go with two but we're not going to have three so to me that would make perfect sense if we did that because from what i've seen of ingram he can play the run i think he was the the best edge we had at at pass rushing and playing the run last year so if that was the plan and we could bring him back and have him as uh, on the other side of Gay and Bolton and then slip down and Karloftis move in, you know, I think that sounds like a pretty good plan for generating pass rush if you have Karloftis and Jones inside, you know, where Karloftis, where not having the length that you want for an edge rusher is negated because your guards have shorter arms and your centers have shorter arms. Yeah, I don't mind putting them inside on pass rushing downs. That's better for him. And yeah, Ryan saying it, I I didn't hear that part, but I can see it. What I've watched of him. He's he's still only 265, so he's going to have to put on, what, 10, 15, 20 more pounds to be able to compete inside in the NFL. And I, I think he could do it. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I, tweet, I tweeted it out uh, earlier today, but there was a, a interview, I think it was someone like Mick Schaefer did, with Karloftis, and uh, one of the things that he talked about, he was excited about, is because he loves barbecue. He's never been to Kansas City. He loves barbecue, and he's heard about Kansas City barbecue, and he was talking about uh, what his normal order looks like, you know, and it's like a uh, half a pound of, of uh, pulled pork and a rack of ribs and this and that, and it's like, you know, I think a year in Kansas City, he could be a 330-pound defensive tackle if he keeps eating barbecue the way that – or if he starts eating barbecue in Kansas City the way he says nope. that he likes barbecue. No muscle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a way to get, I don't know, take up blockers. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think of the picks, Aaron? We've been talking this whole time. What do you think of the picks? I like McDuffie. Like I said, I had him as my number three. Of course, I had Booth as my number two, and he's still out there. But there are injury concerns, so I kind of get it. Same thing with Ajabo. The they're good talents, 
We don't know for sure what their ceiling or floor is. I think we somewhat know with Karloftis what his ceiling and floor are. But they say his best football is ahead of him. I want to see it. I want him to prove it. Because it's all bad behind him. <laughs> We've got like Dana, I guess, will be behind him. I want to see more Wharton. I would like to see Wharton on the outside once in a while. I saw him one play, I want to say, last year, and he was right there at the quarterback. Every time I noticed him, he was causing a fumble, too, besides that. I don't know if he's on Wharton's level, and we all know he was undrafted. 